so we finally have some more details and a greater look at the Batman 2022 thanks to some newly leaked images and reveals from the official calendar of the film. In particular, we got a range of different photos showcasing the Riddler, Gotham City, the Batman and much more that really give us a greater sense of the world that Matt Reeves is building. In this video, I'm going to be discussing these reveals and breaking down the newest looks at the film. But before I get into it, if you want to keep up to date on any of my future content on the Batman 2022, then don't forget to support this video by giving it a like rating, subscribing to the channel and turning on your notifications. Also, feel free to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, and Instagram at Cortex Videos, which is all linked in the description below. But without further ado, let's dive into the new images for Matt Reeves' The Batman. So the Batman is trending again after a bunch of new official images were released for the film, but it's a leaked picture that has everyone buzzing. In particular, the image of the Riddler, which is very different from a guy wearing a green suit with a bowler hat and question mark cane that we've all grown up with. We've seen a few variants of the live action Riddler over the years, from the 50s Batman campy version, to the Jim Carrey campy version, and to the split personality killer Edward Nigma in Gotham. But now we are going somewhere we haven't been before. The most obvious comparison that people are drawing is that this version of the Riddler from the Batman seems to have been heavily inspired by the Zodiac Killer, the real life cipher using serial killer that was never caught, but the design and cryptography similarities are evident. You could get a sense of this to a certain extent in the first trailer, but it's the new look that people are comparing with a renewed focus. It's actor Paul Dano under that mask, which appears to be blending goggles or glasses with a gimp-like mask and a neck cape, similar to those old Zodiac drawings. In the leaked image, there's even a crosshair symbol with a question mark in the middle, which is literally the hallmark of the Zodiac killer, minus the question mark. What I think this represents is the idea that the Batman is going to be more about the Caped Crusader as a detective and less about high-flying action sequences. I mean, it will still likely have great action like we saw in the first trailer, but setting up the Riddler as a creepy serial killer rather than a goofy version of the character is bound to result in a shift in overall tone. I personally love this image and the reaction to it online has been mixed, with some even giving similar remarks to what Heath Ledger had for The Dark Knight. We all know how that turned out and the fact that Reeves is going for a different take is something that can only get me excited to see what the outcome will be. But other new images from the Batman show off extended looks at Selina Kyle, the Batmobile, and the image shown on screen of Robert Pattinson's Batsuit. What little is known about the film is exciting, but we know that the Batman will feature a plethora of villains, including Colin Farrell's Penguin, Paul Dano's Riddler, and Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman. The film will follow Pattinson's Bruce Wayne in his second year of crime fighting in Gotham, during which he is still getting used to balancing his vigilante life with his regular one. With the Batman being its own thing, it has led the film to have a distinct visual style, as evidenced by all of these recently shared images. Including the Riddler's image, all of these images that were leaked on social media are from an official calendar for the Batman's marketing. Catwoman can be seen as one of the pages of the calendar, with others showing off the Batmobile, and the 12-month calendar is listed for 2022, meaning that this merchandise could release before the end of the year. Alongside the image of the Riddler, Selina Kyle panels are also featured, and it seems that the movie may be saving the reveal of her catsuit for the film or an eventual second trailer, as Kravitz's role is maybe one of the most exciting in the film. It's only a brief look and is comparable to the set images, leaked behind the scenes footage and art we got of the character, but it's cool to see it stylistically here with the marketing. Still, the most interesting thing that I liked from these images was the glimpse of the Batmobile and the Gotham City backdrop. 
Of course, the look seems to have changed from the tank-like Batmobile that fans have grown used to, and instead, Pattinson's vehicle looks to be in the vein of a classic muscle car. This further proves that Reeves' vision for the Batman is unlike anything that has been seen from the caped crusader in the 21st century, leading to even more excitement about what's in store for the Pattinson-led film. In the backdrop as well, we get a moody look at Gotham, with one of the bigger images showcasing a red colour palette. Now we know that on set, they lit up a tower, one which potentially could be Wayne Manor in red lighting, and a lot of the artwork for the film is inspired by this gothic and dark red filter. It would be cool in the film to see this filter mask over Gotham, and the look of the city in this promotional image continues to develop the tone that Reeves is going for. The only other thing to mention is that some of the images on the calendar give us potential catchphrases that the characters could say on screen. Alongside the Vengeance panel, which we know is a line from the previous trailer, there is a Batman-themed line reading, I am the shadows, and two Riddler panels which have potential quotes reading, Unmask the truth, and my life has been a riddle. These quotes could become some of the character's most memorable lines, just like the Vengeance line from Pattinson in the trailer, which is again also present on this calendar. But it's just something extra to keep in mind, and it gives a cool touch to this calendar, which packs many different images. The Batman is set to begin a new phase of the DC Universe at Warner Brothers, which is now the studio being spun off in a deal with Discovery. As of now, we have the Batman leading into a HBO Max series about GCPD, and director Matt Reeves is also involved in a new animated series being brought to life, which was announced yesterday. It's a split from the DCEU, which the Batman is not a part of, and with fans of the Snyderverse wanting to see more of Snyder's Ben Affleck in The Cow, it seems unlikely to happen, and any connected DCEU movies on the way do not appear to involve Affleck's version too. I like everything I'm seeing from the Batman, and I have zero issue with DC running parallel universes at the same times for more versions of the character to come to fruition. In a perfect world, we get Pattinson and Affleck's version, but there's no need to slam one or the other, just like both Zack Snyder and Matt Reeves have supported each other's visions. We'll have to see if we do get more of both down the line, but in regards to Robert Pattinson's Batman in particular, you can say that I'm incredibly excited to see how he does in The Cow, and the kind of detective movie we get from Matt Reeves. But that's all the main details and images that have leaked, and it looks like we could be getting many more reveals during the long build-up to the release of The Batman in 2022. The film has finished filming, and it's rumoured that the next trailer will come at DC Fandom later this year, so I'm sure there will be much more to come as we progress into 2021. I'm intrigued to hear what you guys think towards these new images, alongside whether you are liking the style of approach that Matt Reeves is taking with his adaptation of The Caped Crusader, so let me know down below in the comment section. For more videos surrounding the Batman leading up to its 2022 release date, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.